One of the ways of uh, getting uh, native uh, children to, to start learning the language is to, to make them sing it. There's nothing like beautiful music to make people sing. And to sing in Cree, is, it comes naturally. Play that. Let's play the bridge first, okay? So here. How did it start? We had been booked to, to do a cabaret, because they do a lot of cabaret here, there, and everywhere, with fellow artists, and we had been booked into a major, major hall in um, Toronto, a big, big concert hall. And in order to play that hall, which is a bit like playing in the Carnegie Hall of Canada, we had to be really, really well prepared, really refined in our playing. So I refused to go onto that stage cold. Kind of demanded, like we do a whole series of shows before that to gear up for the big one. So we turned that series of concerts in preparation for this big one in Toronto. We accidentally committed ourselves to a larger project. Ultimately, at base, it is a Cree language preservation project. So it's been a process, it's like a three year uh, show kind of process, building process that we're working on. Last year we toured Saskatchewan and this year we're focusing on Manitoba, so we're kind of going around, which I'm really excited about because we get to go to Brochet and Thompson and all these places that we're talking about in the story. Oh, I missed you. Oh, this morning, how I missed you so. Oh. Oh, this morning, how I missed you so. It's about a country singer, a Cree country singer from Northern Manitoba, who struggles and struggles and struggles with her disadvantages, uh, including uh, physical disadvantages, uh, to become a singer, to become a country singer. All of Lynx's kind of journey, because she lives in Brochet and then goes to Thompson and then ends up in Winnipeg and then ends up in the States kind of a thing. So it's this kind of like little journey and we're kind of gonna backtrack a little bit for myself to kind of help me see the images of the land and where Lynx kind of comes from. It was just so, it takes you to a different place where you just start thinking like, okay, imagine yourself there. I didn't think it was gonna touch me as like, as much as it did, you know, just like, I didn't think I was gonna get like that emotional to the point where you're just like, wow, just listening to that uh, girl sing and her voice, it was just like, holy smokes. something really beautiful and magical about the north and how for me as an artist I get very inspired when I get to get out of the city and the craziness of cars and horns and busy lights and all that kind of stuff and just get to be out in nature and the magic of this one is that I actually get to go to Brochet with Thompson Highway where he grew up he's gonna show us Reindeer Lake where he was born and raised and like kind of 
take us through that whole, his whole kind of childhood, which is really exciting to me because that's one of the big connecting pieces in this show. How are you enjoying the uh, tour so far? The tour so far is wonderful. I've done two shows, playing a third show tonight. The show's getting better all the time. The next generation of children are not speaking it, and if we don't do anything about it now, that by the time these these kids are parents, the language will the language all the languages will have died. And letting the Cree language die, letting any language die, not just native languages, but languages all over the world. Each time a language dies, the, the planet loses a bit of its soul. Our culture is being lost, and I think it's going to help the community because it's it's another outlet. It, it shows that you can do stuff with your language, you know, that, that's new and exciting. I think the biggest goal is language, to be inspired by the language and the beauty of the language and that we need to kind of preserve uh, all our language and to take that back. And I think for myself, it's uh, about the young people. I hope we'll inspire other youth to either start learning, because you're, ne you're never too late to learn your language. Finally, kind of found a groove, and then it's like, it's like, huh? Oh. So do you think I have that uh, okay, now safe for, for dressing like this? Dressing too good? Yeah, I have the homes too, right? So I have to look. Yeah, look good. Yeah, look good. Good job. Good job. Good job. I never realized how beautiful our language is so it's like laid against the bed of music. You know, especially the music that Thompson writes, which is beautiful and you know, intimidating to work with, right? Because <laughs> he's, he's such a great musician. I hope that through this show that someone can be inspired and to, you know, really, it's a good thing to know who you are and, and we shouldn't be ashamed of that and we need to kind of rise up and be proud of who we are. Memphis, Tennessee. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? There's no seat. Start going. Great. Your voice sounded a lot closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like dramatic endings like that. Yeah. You can actually see you guys. It's like just the light. The earth is a cool place. <laughs> yeah. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Uh, well, we have an audience. It's not huge, but it's, it's a respectable audience. Yeah, it'll be good.